Hello all. Uh, welcome to the three o'clock Melbourne session of just taking some time for yourself so you can continue on in the afternoon or the evening or the morning in a just a little bit more of a chilled, focused fashion. So I've been doing my own research on the power of breath and it's something I've referenced in the past about it being such a powerful technology that we've had for or you know since we've existed uh, since noses have existed <laughs> in within us and what I'd love to kind of draw on is a couple of nuances that I've been discovering for example we as a modern species do a lot of uh, mouth breathing but there's actually no biological mechanism for us to be doing this all the filtration comes through our nose and to be able to live your life uh, in a much more energetic state uh, nose breathing is going to be a much more beneficial process for you so for example i've been reading this uh, interesting really interesting book called uh, the oxygen advantage and I highly recommend you guys jump on board and have a squiz at it. Um, the author of it has suffered from a great deal of very, very limiting uh, asthma, etc., etc. And he learned about being able to uh, stop breathing through his mouth and actually taping up his mouth with stereo strips so he was able to breathe through his nose and he woke up the next morning with so much more energy it was like unbelievable and he's been doing it ever since so that's something i myself am going to give a crack i don't i wouldn't necessarily recommend it uh, to you guys but i'll share with you what my uh, experience has been so straight after this i'm going to be doing a creative writing content sprint and I'm going to need to get my creative juices flowing. So in order for that to happen, I'm going to uh, enliven the right hand side of my brain. So uh, in order for that to happen, speaking about what I did yesterday, we're, I'm going to breathe through my left nostril. If anybody else has any particular um, tasks that they want to do, if it's analytical, enliven your left side. If it's uh, more creative, um, by all means, your right side. So we're going to go in for box breaths, six rounds. Starting with the in breath, I'm using my left nostril. Hold. Hold. Go for it yourselves, guys. That's all it takes. Six breaths scientifically proven to lower your blood pressure and to put you into that parasympathetic. Now, nose breathing is especially powerful when it comes to putting yourself into this parasympathetic state. What do I mean when I say parasympathetic? It's a more relaxed state. It's a really great way for you to um, really calm down your nervous system before you go to sleep, for example. Um, and you know, mouth breathing can sometimes do the opposite. It can put you into that fight or flight, um, state that stress breathing. It can induce that shallow chest breathing. 
So next time you catch yourself breathing through the mouth, or even next time you wake up with a dry mouth, there's a very good chance that you've been breathing through your mouth uh, when you sleep. So consider just putting that intention before you go to sleep to do some nasal breathing as opposed to mouth breathing. Thanks guys, see you tomorrow.